Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to do it easy, do it yourself on brake caliper reconditioning, rebuilding, and resurrecting, really. Let me show you. Uh, what? Uh, yeah! Uh, oh, no. Uh, We're going to turn this old yeah. crappy looking caliper into this beautiful looking same caliper, just reconditioned. All right. So now that we have the caliper off because this is what we're doing we're rebuilding a caliper um, let me show you some things that you will need or sh should use it's helpful to uh, make this whole process go a little smoother one is a bike pump um, and that is to pump the actual piston out of the caliper there uh, second is a pair of vice grips for this because no one ever has the right size wrench for that. Uh, next, some brake fluid, some brake cleaner, and some brake caliper grease. Some gloves, and some scrub brushes to prep the surface for paint. First, let's get some gloves. All right, so now that we have the gloves, let's look at our caliper situation. Here I have the old brakes. The old brake uh, pads on. Let's get the other one off. That one's off. All right. So what we're going to be doing is replacing two seals within this this piston area here. So here's a new kit. This just happens to be a BMW. E34, but it applies to 7 series, 3 series, anything with a single piston caliper. There's two seals. So there is the inner seal of the chamber that the piston actually moves uh, through, and then this one here seals the actual piston to the unit itself so that way the pressure doesn't pop out. But we're in a situation now to where we gotta pull this out, slide that out, we'll clean all this up, and now we're stuck with a piston we can't really get out. It might be seized or whatever, so that's where the bike pump comes in. You got your bike pump, just kind of hold it, even though it's not the right size. You can find a fitting or make something to fit in there, you guys are creative. And then slowly... Here it goes, and we got the piston out just about a little more. Pump it a little more. Get the piston out. rags so once you've drained the the old fluid or whatever's left clean up your workstation if you look inside here there's the outer boot seal for the piston which goes from there onto here simply pull that out and then there's another seal right here you can get a screwdriver or a little pick tool Pull that out. The next step is to clean the holy hell out of this thing and make it look good. I'm gonna show. All right, and you'll notice sometimes when, after you clean and spray that there's, this isn't that smooth, and there's a little bit of rust and stuff. We can kind of fix that before we start putting the new seals in. And 
uh, the easiest way to do that is just with like some mag and aluminum polish and a terry cloth rag. And that's also how we'll clean this thing up and make this thing look good and new. Make sure it slides in and out without any uh, obstruction. So now that we have this all cleaned and polished out and everything for the most part. Yeah! Let's go ahead and put in the piston seal, which is the inner ring. It's the one for this back. Gentle. seal is in. Let's clean up this dirty piston. We get rid of all this rust. Just make it look a little fresher. So that way it won't have any you know problem moving in and out and sealing. So wipe it down. Just rub it. You gotta lick it. Just kidding. So now that we have the piston all cleaned and polished up and the inner you know the inner area where the actual piston will go into we have the one inner seal the one main o-ring seal now we're going to put the piston boot seal on let's do that right now so on the new piston boot seal the smaller diameter spot will actually go into there the problem is you're not going to be able to fit this in and get this seal in at the same time. So we're going to try and put this in first. Done it a couple times and this seems to be the best method. So you take your time and push the gasket into the second seal, you know, the second rim right there. Slowly work this bitch. So now that we have the thing on and in like a new Nuva ring, you're gonna take some brake fluid on one of your fingers that you have with your glove, lube up the whole inside of this thing pretty good. You know, just kind of finger it. You know what I'm saying? A little lube. And our next move is to wrangle this thing through the small opening into the actual chamber and the best way to do that is to get a pair of vice grips because I don't know anybody who actually has ever had the goddamn right nipple size on this thing so we're going to do this so that way we can alleviate pressure out of the brake chamber area and we'll actually just pull this off because it's not a big deal right now. So now let's get this in here. One more lead. You don't want to go in dry. Too much friction, chafing of the gaskets. 
Oh, dude, this is going to take a long time. Huh? This is the one that took me a while. Like, this the biggest pain in the asses. You have to get that gasket all the way around it? All the way around it. It's like trying to fit really a big wiener into a regular size non-magnum. Up and down, wiggle it in. It's going to be tight because you have new seals in there. There you go. And ironically, the seal's on, but if not, you can check it again with your. So now you can recheck the seal and make sure that everything lined up right on this. I'm hoping it did. So far, so good. So now that we have the new seal in uh, for the piston and the outer piston seal, everything's hooked up right. Um, you can tighten this down, pull this rubber piece off. Now we're going to tape it up. We're going to clean it, then tape it up and get it ready for paint. And there's this piece with the actual guide piece. And we're going to clean all this up and polish these up and uh, make this look all new. I'll show you. Essentially, make it look like this. There you go. that you don't want to go too hard to take off all the surface but you do want to get the majority of the nooks and crannies where all that brake dust does hide That one, that one. Now we just need to tape some of this surface here so that way the brick caliper guides will have a place to, to run free without binding up and shit. So, alright, there we have them. They're all prepped for paint for the most part, and uh. Now we have the caliper scrub to get these bad boys painted. One light coat. Wait for the wind to die down. This is pretty unorthodox. Alright, I have three coats on there. 
to the fourth and final coat. So it's about one can for essentially the front complete brackets and the calipers. Yee, go inside, baby. I'm painting, go inside. Now you can see how glossy it is. Looks really good. This one's all taped off. This one. And then I just did one last one because I did three coats on this one before, but here's the fourth and final. Here it is. Okay, so after a day of letting these bad boys sit, after painting, put four coats on them. They look fantastic. Let's get into finishing the rebuilding process of this. We have the new seals in there, the new you know ring seal for the piston and the inner seal. Um, we've also cleaned off these posts here because these will be sliding in and out of these holes and you want to make sure they're lubricated that's what she said so let's do that and yep all right let's get these bad boys ready you're gonna need some brake caliper brake and caliper paste just go a little easy on them There you go, you lubed up the shaft. Now you want to stick it in the holes. <laughs> Gets me every time. Sorry. So there you have it. That part's all done. Seal's done. Everything's smooth, ready to go. We can install the new brake calipers. You're going to want some disc, disc brake quiet stick action. Um, it's pretty legit. So put some on the back contact point there get that in there and then we get this one let's check and make sure it's dirty just sitting get this one we know that's going to make the contact right here on these pieces here. Throw a little dab. Get those in. There you go. And then all that you need from this point is just a little pin that clips in here which I seem to have misplaced and the little cover for that so that right there is how you rebuild and recondition a single piston caliper thanks for watching guys appreciate it peace